regarded by many as the favorites to go all the way at the 2022 World Cup. Five-time world champions Brazil kick off their Group G campaign against Serbia at the Luzel Stadium on Thursday. The two nations will renew acquaintances with one another after locking horns in the group stage four years ago when the Seal Chow came out on top with a 2-0 victory. Brazil have arrived in Qatar as the only nation in World Cup history to have qualified for every tournament since the first edition back in 1930 following a record-breaking Commonwealth qualification campaign, collecting more points, 45, than ever before after winning 14 and drawing three of their 17 matches. The Seal Town rarely struggle in qualifying, and they have had few problems in the group stage over the years too, as they are unbeaten in their last 15 World Cup group fixtures since losing 2-1 to Norway back in 1998. However, 20 years have passed since Brazil got their hands on their fifth World Cup in Seoul and the pressure is on Tite's talented squad, ranked number one in the world by FIFA, to live up to the pre-tournament hype and improve on their quarter-final exit against Belgium four years ago. Serbia will be the first nation to put Brazil's credentials to the test, but the Seal Tower are losing confidence ahead of Thursday's encounter as they boast a 15-game unbeaten run across all competitions, winning each of their last seven in the process by an aggregate score of 26-2. Brazil have won both of their previous two meetings against Serbia without conceding, and a slender 1-0 defeat to South American rivals Argentina in the 2021 Copa America final was the last time that Tite's men suffered defeat in any competition. After crashing out of the group stage at their previous three World Cup finals since gaining independence in 1990, there is a sense of optimism that Serbia can finally reach the knockout rounds for the first time in Qatar. The Eagles, ranked 25th in the world by FIFA, impressed in UEFA qualifying and topped their group after winning six and drawing two of their eight matches, including a last gasp 2-1 triumph over Portugal in their final fixture. Dragan Stachkovic side then secured promotion to League A of the UEFA Nations League earlier this year, courtesy of four wins and a draw from six matches. Indeed, the slender 1-0 defeat against Norway in June is one of only two losses suffered in their last 16 internationals across all competitions. The form on European soil has been impressive, but transferring that onto the global stage is the task that Stojkovic and co. are now faced with, and they could not begin their World Cup campaign against a more daunting prospect than five-time world champions Brazil. Serbia have lost seven of their nine World Cup matches in total, the most defeats by any European nation and just one less than Australia's unwanted record of eight, and a resilient performance is required if they wish to claim at least a draw on Thursday. Brazil boss Titan is set to have a fully fit squad available for Thursday's contest, with Anthony, Bruno Guimaraes and Alex Tells all recovering from minor problems. If reports are to be believed, the Seal Top could deploy either a 4-1-4-1 or 4-2-3-1 formation, with Captain Thiago Silva starting in the back four alongside Danilo, Marquinhos and Alexandro, shielding first-choice goalkeeper Alisson Becker. Kaysmaro and Lucas Pacana are the two most likely candidates to line up in center midfield, while Starman Neymar could operate in the number 10 role on either side of wingers Rafinha and Vinicius Jr. Tottenham Hotspur's Richard Eisen, who has recovered from a calf strain in time for the World Cup, is set to be given the nod ahead of Arsenal's Gabriel Jesus to lead the line. As for Serbia, Aleksandr Mibrovic has not fully recovered from an ankle injury and is expected to begin on the substitutes bench, with Luka Jovic in line to start up front alongside Dusan Vlahovic. Stojkovic is set to revert to a three-man defense after lining up with four at the back in the 5-1 friendly win over Bahrain last week with Strahinja Pavlovich hoping to join Nikola Milankovic and Stefan Mibrovic at centre-back. This could be tasked with shielding goalkeeper Vanya Milankovic-Savic, who is expected to start between the sticks ahead of Marko Mitrovic and Predrag Rajkovic despite having won only seven caps for the national team. Sevilla's Nemanja Gittles is poised to start in centre midfield alongside Lazio star Serge Milankovic-Savic, with Andrija Zivkovic and Filip Kostic providing width as wing-backs, while captain Dusan Tadic is set to start in the number 10 role. Five-time world champions Brazil were expected to have a fully fit squad for Thursday's World Cup 2022 Group G opener against Serbia at the Luzel Stadium. Anthony, Bruno Guimaraes and Alex Tells have all been dealing with minor problems, but the trio are set to be available for selection. Liverpool goalkeeper Alisson Becker is still regarded as tight's number one, and the 30-year-old is in line to keep his place between the sticks ahead of Manchester City's Ederson and Palmeiras Weverton. 
If reports are to be believed, Titus set to deploy either a 4-1-4-1 or 4-2-3-1 formation, with center back Thiago Silva and Marquinhos operating in the middle of the back four in between Juventus fullbacks Danilo and Alexandro. Manchester United's Case Moreau could start alongside West Ham United's Lucas Paqueta in center midfield, with Guimaraes, Fred, Fabinho, and Everton Ribeiro all expected to begin on the substitutes bench. Tottenham Hotspur's Richie recovered from a calf strain before linking up with the national team, and Brazil's number nine could get the nod ahead of Arsenal's Gabriel Jesus in the center forward role. Starman Neymar is set to dictate playing in the number 10 role behind Richie with Barcelona's Rafinha and Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. the two most likely candidates to begin on the flanks. We say Brazil 3, Serbia 1. Having watched South American rivals Argentina suffer a shock defeat in their opening group game, Brazil cannot assume that Thursday's contest with Serbia will be a cakewalk, and they must be on top of their game if they wish to make the perfect start in Group G. Nevertheless, the Seal Chow can take encouragement from Serbia's leaky backline, conceding in all eight of their UEFA qualifiers, and tight's abundance of attacking quality should prevail in front of Gold and Lazale.